morning, Frey. Here are the notes on the Turan I promised you. <sighs> Look, about our deal. Your dad's journals all got burnt up in the guild when we escaped. It's fine. Frey, you brought him back. That's far more important. That is more than I could ever have hoped for. Here. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, where can I find Sila? You should visit the Archives in Upper Sapol. You'll be able to find out more about her there. The Archives. Got it. Alden, sorry to bother you, but I just saw your father wandering off. Uh, forgive me, Frey. I need to go and find him. Right. Off to the Archives we go. I am kind of worried about Bob, though. He is my ticket out of here. <sighs> Do what you want. But remember, we have a Tunter to defeat. You're Frey, aren't you? They want to use their amazing powers to drive back the monsters. I'm Pilo. Can't believe I'm talking to the hero who saved the city. I'm not a hero. Not now, never will be. Did you want something? Um, just wondering if there's anything I can do. I don't know, I could... Hey, I could show you around town. You haven't been here long, right? A guided tour, what an excellent idea. Certainly couldn't hurt to get the lay no, of the land. No, thanks, but I'm not in the mood. Oh, don't say that! Look, I'll be waiting for you, all right? When you're ready, just let me know. Decided to take me up on my offer? Okay, bet. Give me the tour. Great! This is great! All right. We'll start at the square in the lower city. This way. Come on, follow me. The lower city is where all the refugees live. And the square, here, is its heart. Are you a refugee? My parents were. I was born here. So father born and bred, huh? Anyone my age or younger? Pretty much has to be. This is the girl Olivia was talking about. The, the amazing girl? Oh, come on. I wouldn't go that far. Olivia used to look after my Ella for a lot, you know. But I never heard her talk about another grown-up like she did you. You must have been very special to her. You think so? And she was special to you too, I imagine. <laughs> she was forever stealing things. And she never listened to anyone. Well then, I suppose that's what made her such a little character. <laughs> and such a handful. She was just doing what she needed to survive. Hmm. 
Something tells me you know a little bit about that yourself. Guess you could say that. We were even more alike than I realized. Tanta Silo was a mighty warrior. I'd watch yourself out there if I were you. I was just pondering the fleeting nature of life. One moment, we are laughing together, not a care in the world. The next, we are not but dust on the wind. What good can come of love in such a time? Surely it can only end in tragedy. I hate to say it, but you might be right. Some music, perhaps? Though I fear it will do precious little to lift the mood. Then allow me to perform the horrible terror of Preynost. We really need some help naming these. Preynost is a harsh and unforgiving land. Not all who make the journey there are fortunate enough to escape a fiery fate. And for those they leave behind, naught remains but emptiness. You would do well to take care if you plan on venturing there yourself. Not exactly the most illuminating of ditties, was it? That's the trouble with these arty types. Very little in the way of practical advice. What do you mean? Kranos bad. Stay away. That was pretty much the message, right? Shall we? Around here is basically our turf. A shame it's barely fit for human habitation. Do the buildings around here just not get fixed? Sometimes. But we're not a priority down here. The upper city comes first. And that, and then everything else. That sucks. Up there is where we get our water. Uh, I've seen that already. Thank you, though. Oh, really? All right, then. Let me show you something else. It's downright frightening, it is. Fancy letting someone like that roam the streets unsupervised. Hey, Mommy! Mommy! That's the lady! Shush you! And you don't go near her, you hear? Hey, that's no way to... It's cool. I'm used to it. Jim, I was rather hoping to see that fiery temper of yours in action. Petty small-minded gossips! Although, I suppose it is pretty frightening. With your power. You could turn the whole town on its head just like that. Yeah. You're something else, all right. Not this shit again. I'm nobody. Get over it already. Hey! Do you like animals? They're all right, I guess. Great! You like this, then?
Over here is where we keep all the livestock. We don't get to eat meat very often, but we do all right, I suppose. Hey, you can't create food out of thin air, can you? Never mind. The big open area is the graveyard. Rich or poor, we all end up there in the end. A farm and a cemetery. You don't see that often. Really? It's quite a good arrangement. The animals help keep the grass down. Come on, let's go and take a closer look. They're not shy, that's for sure. Well, we don't get many new faces in town. Hey, why don't you try feeding them? Really? Is that allowed? Of course! Wait here! I'll go and grab some food. Just go up to one of them and hold out your hand. a mess. You don't bathe them? Oh, we try. But that one just loves his mud baths. Huh. <laughs> Fluffy. Sila didn't come as far as the pasture. There's that to be thankful for, at least. These little lovelies are worth more to us now than ever. Wool, milk, meat, even parchment. You name it. We need them for it. <laughs> like I said, this is the graveyard. There's so many of them. Yeah, well, if they're dead, they're down there. Damn, you really wolf that down, huh?
<laughs> Fluffy. Our savior's favorite farm. That's kind of a ring to it. Don't you think? I might put up a sign. Right. I suppose it's time I showed you the upper city. It's back the way we came and up the stairs. Or did you want to look around a bit more first? Can I ask you something? Your powers? Could you give me a quick demonstration? Absolutely not. You're not some street performer. Look, I'm sorry, but they're not for show. Ah, really? I was hoping you'd give me another look. But I guess I've seen enough. Adi is as good as save already. How many fucking times do I have to tell you? I'm not your savior. So, this is where the rich folks live. Yep. And they get the best food, the nicest clothes, and the safest part of the city to themselves. They get to run everything just because of who they are. Best not to think about it. Ah, the accident of birth. Curse you, cruel fate. It's her. Oh. Don't even look at her. What business does someone like that have in this part of the city? Uh, that boy is here again. Ignore him. He'll clear off soon enough. Do you want me to call the guards? Only if she does something. Well, of course she will. We'll see, dear. We'll see. This is the Tower of... Oh, sorry. I forgot. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Let's maybe not go in for the full tour, though. Can't you really trust? It's not our place. This is the mausoleum. Our souls come here when we die. What are you doing here? And you? You belong in the lower city. Yes! You have no right to be here. Neither of you. Be gone! Ugh, of all the people to run into. Frey saved the city! If anyone deserves to be here, it's her! If she wanted, she could turn you to ashes in a heartbeat! But she'd never do that. Isn't that right, Frey? Okay, can you fucking let it go already? What? What's wrong with you all of a sudden? If you want to save your city, do it your fucking self. You're not dragging me into this. What about our tour? There's so much still to see. I don't need a stupid fucking tour. Please, 
Please, Frey, wait! Listen, okay? I never said I'd help you. With anything. Ever. Got that? I... I'm sorry! I just... I got carried away, I suppose. Look! Let me take you to one last place. Fuck no! Come on, please! I'm not sure he's gonna take no for an answer. <sighs> one look at whatever the hell it is, and I'm out. Thank you so, so much! Come on, it's this way! Wait, wh what the hell is this? Thank you so much for saving the city! Oh, Mom said we're not supposed to talk to you, but, but you helped us. Thank you, Frey. They've been wanting so badly to show you how grateful they are. Uh, I... it was nothing. That's not true. And you know it. We're all in your debt. Me included. Wait, is... Is this why you came and found me in the first place? Pilo! You'd better not let me find you slacking off, you little runt. Oh, no! Where the heck are you? Get here! Now! Oh, no! It's the boss! Sorry, Frey. I've got to go. What an excitable young man. You know, I've never gotten flowers before. And let's hope it never happens again, shall we? Thank you, Frey! Really, thank you! Interested in these here books, are you? You've got a good eye. They're treasures of a sort, all rescued from the abandoned Cognitions guilds. Oh, cool. Hey, this one actually looks useful. It's about crafting. It certainly seems like it might be worth your while. I'd be happy to give it to you, for a price. I collect old things, see? Find some, and I might just be persuadable. What about this old coin? Well, now, isn't that a beauty? I'll need more than one of those, depending on the book, but here, have a look. Anything take your fancy? Nothing tickling your fancy, eh? Huh. Maybe next time, then. Where is it going? Well, are you going after it? What do you want us to find here? For me? Oh, you shouldn't have.
gotta stop this at once. Sounds like trouble. Yo, what's going on here? The Robian's trying to desecrate a lovely old ballow tree. He's uh got himself a mic worked up. And the bloomers too! We tried to explain to him that he can't just run amok in the grove like this. That there is our last fellow. All right, just cut him some slack, okay? He's been living in the break for the past 20 years. He's just taking some time to adjust. He'll be back to himself soon. Mm. You keep telling yourself that. Father! Father! It's Odin. Odin? Odin, my dear girl. What are you doing here? I was supposed to see you there. I cannot see you there if you are here. It's all right. I will take you there, and we will be there together. Apologies. <laughs> be a good man, Sir Robian, and hand it over. Please, Father, give it to them. Please. Thank you. We'll take it from here. Just make sure that he doesn't. He won't. You have my word. Oh, Autumn. I'm such a fool. You are no fool. I believe in you. I told them you wouldn't harm the tree, but I never said that I wouldn't. Now is our chance. Once again, breaking the law. I don't do it proudly. But all I do is for Athia. And if my father believes this could help, then I believe it too. Hey, Bob. Strange young girl from another world. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, have your notes on the portals. Um, the, the Tirana. Ooh, my. He's much worse than I believed. Forgive me. My mind's a, a, a little wibbly-wobbly, wobbly-wibbly. Um, Voosh? Ah, Vush, Vush, Vush. <laughs> yes, Vush. I need a Vush back home, where I came from. After I killed this crazy lady, if I survive. You will. I will go back home, or I will kill the crazy lady. One or the other. Maybe both, maybe neither. Ah. Who's to know? Sounds promising. Yes. Yes, yes, I promise. I will work on making you whoosh. You have my word. Mm, terrific. The word of a senile old has been ironclad. Great. What am I doing in the grove? Let's get you home. Audi! Yes. <laughs> Come on. I'll catch you guys later. Hey, Cuff. Speaking of Bob, how come he didn't turn into a zombie? He came right through the break with us. I'd say he was mostly break zombie already, wouldn't you? Strange how Auden seems to love Bob so much. Strange? Why? Well, I don't exactly think the world of my parents. I guess being left on your own for years doesn't hit everybody the same way. Then why should it? Humans are horrendously complex creatures, after all. Olivia. Apparently knew the kid, but she just stuck with me. She had fire. And now it's been extinguished. Somebody has to pay.
Let us proceed to the archives, then. It's in the upper city, right? Don't you think we'd better learn more about Scylla before charging off into the wilds? You! You there! It's about Serobian. I... Actually, it's about everything. The city, too. We... We owe you our thanks. Had you not been here, who knows how many more would have suffered? I... Could have done more. Please, I know you are in pain, but you must not lose heart. The bard at the square, Wallace, do you know him? He may be a frivolous, nonsensical sort of person, but his talent is undeniable. Perhaps a tune might do you good. Truly, his music has the power to soothe the soul. <sighs> Wait, you're not telling me she's... Really? That foppish nonsense? No, no, of course not. My feelings are not... I... I mean, of course I... Oh, never mind. His music gives me a certain courage, that's all. A sense that it may not be altogether foolish to hope for a brighter tomorrow. Well, I guess I'll have to listen harder. You plan to face Tantasyla, do you not? Those of my line have long been her most faithful protectors. Though such a legacy is no longer one to speak of with pride. Take care. She is not to be trifled with. The dutiful sword maiden and the foppish bard, eh? What a pair. Yeah, it's like the plot of a corny romance novel. Where is it going? Well, are you going after it? So this is where you were taking us. Aw, is this for me? City yet. How are we to defeat an enemy we know nothing of? Uh. Well, if it isn't our favorite council person. How creature! Still you refuse to leave the city? You, who brought Tanta Sila's wrath upon us? Say it was my fault one more time. I dare you. Uh, uh, Councilman Janesh! Cease your wickedness, demon. Do not approach her. All who do shall surely die. Those who consort with her will perish in agony, just like the child. What the fuck did you just say? Calm down, Frey. Don't let him get to you. You think because you returned that feeble-minded old dotard to us that something has changed. Well, think again. 
You are a blight upon us all, a bringer of doom. The councilman speaks the truth. Leave this place. Be gone. Fuck. You actually managed to exercise some self-control. I'm impressed. Not as impressed as I am. They're not worth your time. You did the right thing. Why are you still in Sipol? We allowed you to go free only because you said you would go to Tanta Sila yourself. I would advise you not to go back on your word. Wait, is that Olivia's name? Among others, yes. This is a record of those who perished. Rather a morbid thing to be jotting down, don't you think? Your recklessness resulted in the deaths of many innocents. My recklessness? I wasn't the one who almost got Auden killed. Better to lose one life than countless others. Or do you disagree? And why not? Because it sucks for the person making the sacrifice. But I guess, you know, that's never gonna be you, right? Yeah. I'm not interested in your thoughts on this particular subject. Thanks. Look, let me make it simple for you. Sila's going down. And no one is getting sacrificed. Least of all me. I have to say, I'm not hugely convinced by the people in charge around here. With that kind of attitude, they'll have sacrificed the whole city before long. Don't get me started. What are they doing? If I had to guess, I'd say they're offering our prayers to the dead. Doesn't look like praying's done much for Athia so far. Well, the habits of a lifetime are hard to break. And who can blame them for seeking a little solace after all they've lost? Yeah, guess you're right. change anything now, but I still wish I could have spoken to you one last time. So these are the archives. Catch! Whoa! What is this? And who are you? I'm the archivist. Auden, tell me you were clever. How do you not know what a book is? No, I know what a book is. Ah, 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 ah. You don't look like an archivist. You don't look like a hero. And that's because I'm not. I used to be a blacksmith before. Built weapons for the very woman that raided our city. She and I were quite close. She trusted me. 
And I trusted her. Sorry. No matter, it was another time. She was another woman, as was I. Keep up! Is everybody in this town batshit crazy? Okay, so how do you go from a blacksmith to a librarian? Archivist! And a smart woman knows when to shift her purpose for the needs of her people. Catch! What is this? It's the floor plan of Silas Castle. What are you, my fairy godmother? <laughs> <sighs> name's Johedi. You're the one that's planning on facing off with Sila. Well, the name's Frey, and it sounds like you don't think I'm up to the task. Tanta Sila is the strongest and most formidable of all the Tantas. She controlled the army, crushing the weak, even without the weapons that I forged for her. Crushing them with her bare hands. I'm beginning to have second thoughts about this. These batty old Harrodon needs to shut her mouth. You will be doing our land a great service by killing her. Rid us of Tanta Sila, and the corruption in her realm will stop spreading. <laughs> but no. I doubt you'll actually succeed. Before you go, I would suggest that you learn all that you can about the Tantas. The archives, full of books about them. Definitely not my fairy godmother. So they used to rule Athia, and people used to like them. Yes, although you'd never guess that now. I can't say I envy these people. Their rulers did some super fucked up shit. I doubt many of them would disagree. Let's see. A study of miracles. It appears to be an in-depth analysis of what makes the Tantas' magic so powerful. I wonder if you might learn something from it. Pick up some tips and tricks for your own magic, perhaps. Yeah, maybe. I could use the help. Wait, it was the Tauntas who caused the break? What the hell happened to them? 
I think more than a few of their former subjects came to wonder the same thing. That thing we read, it was written by the first ever Tanta. And it sounds like there might still be more of them to find. Wouldn't hurt to learn more. Guess we could keep an eye out. So, the Tantas had superpowers that they used to keep Athia safe. And the people loved them for it. Worshipped them, even. But then, something changed. Instead of protecting the people, they started making them suffer. And then the break appeared. An admirably pithy pricey. But it doesn't make any sense. Why would they just go crazy like that? That's enough for now. Think I'm pretty clued up on the Tanta basics. Then I suggest we depart. Oh, I meant to say, that was good, what you did for Rovian. Haven't seen Alden that happy in a long time. You two friends? She tells me things. She's been coming here ever since she could read. She told me all about you. So, which is it? Do you want to go home, or do you want to be a hero? Doesn't matter what you want now. Oh yeah? How do you figure? The people have decided to believe in you, so you better not let them down. Now clear off, I've got things to do. Huh? What's this? The sly old devil must have slipped it in there when you weren't looking. Anything else you need to do before we leave? Hurry up if you're still not done with what you need to do here. Let's just move our asses and get this done. Yes, let's.
let's see. Well, are you going after it? What do you want us to find here? Aw, is this for me? eat. Grass, I'd imagine. That's it? And they don't just die of deficiencies? Wow, kudos. Like somebody made an entire city out of back alleys. Oh. Which makes them front alleys now, I suppose. What's the matter, Bob? It was here. I, I know it was. Here, and then it disappeared. Yes. It was no small thing. Not to me. No, certainly no trifle. So he's lost something important? Sorry, my gibberish is patchy. Yeah, seems like it. Guess we better help him find it. What? Why? Never know. Might have something to do with a Tirana. I suppose. Just don't forget what you're actually meant to be doing. Wonder where he lost whatever it was. Well, he did get in a bit of a scuffle with those guards. Good point. Let's head back over there and take a look. Valor tree is something of a symbol of the city. Hey, you're one of the guards from before, right? Hmm? Oh, you're the one who was with Orden. Yeah. Uh, so Bob, I mean, Robian, he didn't drop anything when you were restraining him, did he? Not that I remember. I did see him coming this way from the upper city a little while back, though. Maybe someone he passed along the way saw something. Okay. Uh, thanks. It didn't used to be like that, you know? So I hear. He was the one who brought everyone here when the corruption swallowed Janoon. Should have been Tante to Sinta. But he was the only other person she would have trusted to do it. Now look at him. Anyway, listen to me talking your ear off. I'm sure you've got more important things to do. Here. 
Weg bist. Thanks for bringing him back to us. Uh, sure. People sure love Bob, huh? Yes. Although I still struggle to picture the old him. Certainly very different from the lower city up here. Why, though? What's so special about... You looking for something? Hi. You didn't see Robian come this way, did you? I did, yes. He walked past a little while ago. Dropped this, as a matter of fact. Huh. Some kind of animal bone, right? Yes, the one the old man was wearing. But I'm not sure it's what we're looking for. And who do we have here, Em? Hey, uh, you seen Robian around? Robian? Ah, oh, Master Kane, you mean. Sorry, young lady. Oh, no worries. Thanks anyway. No luck there. Um, excuse me. Uh, you didn't see Robian around here, did you? Hmm. Robian Keen? Yes, he was pottering about the place not so long ago, in fact. Looking for something, if I'm not mistaken, then he seemed to have some sort of brainwave and wandered off. Rather put me in mind of the old days, I must say. He used to pace back and forth like a madman when he had something on his mind. Walked holes in many a carpet. Guess you knew him pretty well. You could say that, yes. He was something of a mentor of mine. It's a dreadful shame, him having lost his memory to the corruption, but... I hold him in the highest regard, nonetheless. Thanks for sharing. Seems the old man still commands a fair amount of respect, even now. Yeah, guess he's given a lot for these people. Many places for criminals to hide in a town this small? Yeah, not much in the way of crowds to slip into either. All in all, not the best place to exercise one's villainous urges. Um, excuse me, miss? You know the funny old man, don't you? The... Oh, you mean Bob? He dropped this earlier and walked off without noticing. Oh, nice. I've been looking for this, I think. Thanks. This book is mad old. Can barely even make out the words. Luckily, the words are none of our concern. Can we hurry up and get it back to him?
Hey, Bob. The thing you were looking for. It was this book, right? Hmm. Seemingly not. For real? I went all over to find this thing. Father, I... Oh, sorry. Were you two in the middle of something? No, all good. I found this when I was tidying up. A bookmark? I made it for him when I was little. I drew us all on it. Father, mother, and there's me. You found it at last. My heart. My past. Found it. Thank you, Order, my dear, darling girl. Better leave him to it. never stopped thinking about Auden that whole time, huh? A pity to think that he might still forget her after all he's been through. I still haven't thanked you properly, have I? No need. We had a deal. Yes, the journals for my father's notes and the Tirana. The thing is, you've brought me so much more than a few journals. Truly, Frey. Surely there must be something I can do. Come on, anything. Uh, okay, you could... make me something? Can't remember the last time I had a home-cooked meal. Oh! Um... What? Uh, oh, nothing. A promise is a promise. Now, let's see. You could have said something, you know? I'm kind of surprised, though. You always struck me as Little Miss Perfect. Sadly not, as you can see. Yeah, I can see. You're right. Don't worry, I'll have it. Uh, you will? Yes, I... I think perhaps I'll boil it in sheep's milk. That should help. And you wonder how you wound up with this mess in the first place. Sorry, again. Hey, I'm the one who asked you to cook. And besides, I had fun. Me too. How about we just make it a drink next time? I'd like that, yes. You? What are you still doing in Sepal? You will not escape Tanta Sila's wrath, you know. Her enemies receive no quarter. None. Is she from Prenost? Seems rather keen on Sila. Hmm. Maybe she can tell us more about her. She is the Tanta of strength, blessed with the power to fortify both mind and body. That sounds tricky to deal with. And her gifts do not end there. She is a leader under whose unflinching discipline whole armies cower. Her mere presence on the battlefield is enough to strike terror into the hearts of her enemies. 
Okay, I get it. She's one stone cold badass bitch. You trespassed upon her realm. You are a threat, and as such, are not to be tolerated. Just because I walked over some imaginary line? Shit, should have brought a passport. There is no just when it comes to trespass on sacred ground, girl. Especially not when the ground in question belongs to one so powerful. It was your fault the city was attacked. Tanta Sila wished only to drive out the threat. And she clearly wasn't the only one. She was hard on others, but no harder than she was on herself. Beneath that stern exterior lies a warmer heart. Her desire to protect the people of Athia. This is what drives her. Protect? Is that what you call smashing shit up and killing people? What use is there in talking to one as corrupted as you? Sorry I asked. Why do I even care who she is or who she used to be? She killed Olivia. That's all that matters. As long as you remain, the city remains in danger. Tanta Sila may yet be forced to destroy us all. You must go to her and be punished for your crimes. Oh, I'll go to her all right. And when I find her, she's dead. Have a look, shall we? Thanks. Got quite a collection going on now. Pleasure doing business with you. Some people could really do with making themselves more useful, don't you think? Uh, are you trying to make some kind of a point? Hey, that cat. Hey, that... You really do have the magic touch. It's where I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm? The cat that was just here? Oh yes, I know it. Poor wretched creature was all little Olivia had. You think it's waiting for her to come back? I hope not. Putting your faith in humans is a great way to guarantee disappointment. Hey, 
It's not like she wanted to leave him behind, asshole. All right, all right. I'm sorry I spoke. Wait, children, come back. I haven't... I suppose you saw that. They just will not listen to me. Something tells me he gets that a lot. The children at Athia place no value on their education. None. The blame is not entirely theirs, of course. My teachings will not fill their bellies. Not today, at any rate. But if they do not learn to think of tomorrow, if they would only let me teach them. But no, they will not hear a word of it. Can't really blame them. They've been through a lot. None save dear Olivia, that is. Poor child. She, at least, was kind enough to listen. Had I only been able to teach her to read, I am sure her love of learning would have blossomed. You mean they can't even read? Maybe you could, I don't know, start with some simple rhymes or something? Yes. What a fine idea. I could certainly do worse than try. Thank you. The gift of wisdom is a precious one indeed. I will experiment with the method you suggest. Now, if you will excuse me. Wandering the city, dispensing insights, hither and yon. I may have to revise my opinion of you, friend. I wasn't exactly trying to inspire the guy, but I'll take it. Things around here look a little shabby. Maybe we could help fix things up. I'd imagine it's more a lack of materials than a lack of will. Wood, in particular. Yeah. Oi! Miss! Huh? My friend told me you have a strange glowing object you keep in your pocket. An ob... Oh, you mean this? Uh, it's called a smartphone. Um, uh, how do I put this? It's like a, a thing that lets you talk to people far away, or uh, turn what you see into pictures. Whoa! Does that mean it could turn what you see into pictures of outside support? Yeah, I guess. I've only seen drawings of the outside in books. Could you... could you bring us pictures? I don't see why not. Just don't expect too much, okay? I I'm not a great photographer. I don't know what that is, but thank you. I'm so excited. Okay, so maybe not not worth crap. Not really a big camera person, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they'd be delighted with anything you show them. It's not like they have much else to look forward to. Perhaps it wouldn't be so bad to stop by on occasion, lend them a little cheer. You're right. It won't cost me much, and I bet it would mean a lot to them. Are you 
ready then? Yeah. Time to go kill that bitch. I suggest we make our way to the fortress first. It's not too far from the castle. You really do know everything, don't you? No. I simply happen to have looked at the map. <laughs> 